Hi guys, did you just upgrade to the latest Mac OS and can't figure out how to install TeamViewer? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll show you the exact steps to get TeamViewer up and running in no time. Whether you're a beginner or just need a refresher, this guide has everything you need. Plus, I'll share some important updates for Mac OS 15 users to make the process even easier. Let's get straight to it. First things first, click on Safari. Let's download TeamViewer. In the search bar at the top, type in TeamViewer. There we go, and press enter. Or we'll left click. Okay, scroll down the page. You see a button here that says try now for free. Left click on this one. If you get this chat box pop up, just click the X. Scroll down the page. Oop, too far. There it is. Try now for free. Expand this a little bit. There we go. You want to click on download client. I'm just going to go with a free option over here. So we'll click on download now. Make sure Mac OS is selected. Scroll down. Now you got the option of the full client. This one currently doesn't work on Sonoma, so you have to work your way down to the quick support instead. There we go, quick support. Left click on download. Should start to download the DMG image. Give it a second to download. Once downloaded, double click it to open it up.
once you've got it downloaded you can go ahead and close the page by pressing the right x So see this box that says team viewer quick support just double click in the middle of the icon So see verify Once you get to this page, click open. Okay, there's a couple of settings we need to do to get TeamViewer up and running. So first we've got to set up screen recording. Second, we've got to set up the accessibility. So just left click on set up screen recording. And then click on open system settings. Okay, you should see this page. Scroll down. Here you go. Screen recording and system audio recording. Left click on that one. And then next to Team Viewer Creek Support, left click on the toggle to turn it on. And we go back. And we close this box. You might ask if your password that you log in with your Mac. I'm just put mine in. And then click modify. And click close. That's the first one done. Now we're going to go down to allow keyboard and mouse control. So click on set up accessibility.
Okay, down here in accessibility, left click. Okay, if you get into the reminder screen accidentally, just press the back. And then privacy and security. Okay, and down to accessibility. It says two here, so we're going to left tick by the two. And you see Team Viewer Quick Support is here. We'll just toggle that on by left clicking. Again, it'll ask you for your password because you're making changes to the system. So I'll just put my password in. Either click Modify Settings or press Enter. Okay, and then close that box. And then click continue at the bottom. Once you get the tick in the box here. Once you're granted all permissions, the triangle warnings will go away and TeamView will be ready to go. You can use it for remote control, file sharing, or even troubleshooting. You can explore the interface test speed. Once you've granted all the permissions, the warning triangles will disappear. You're ready to go to get help from another person. Just give them your ID number, give them your password. A word of warning, please don't give this to anybody you don't know. Especially if you're getting it on solicited phone calls, TeamViewer is used by scammers as well as genuine IT support. So before we wrap up here, it's a good news and bad news situation. The TeamViewer full disk access, so you can help somebody else, keeps crashing on Sonoma and isn't currently supported. They are working on it as of the time of this video. But the good news is the quick support works perfectly, allowing you to connect and assist remotely with all the anybody else issues. So to recap, we downloaded TeamViewer, resolved the triangle warnings, addressed the Mac OS issues, addressed the Mac OS 15 specific security issues. If this video helped you, hit the like button and subscribe for more beginner tech guides. Check the description for the timestamps to revisit any section or jump straight to the solutions. Got any questions? Leave a comment below. I'll be happy to help. Share this video with anyone who might need it, especially if they struggle with macOS updates. See you on the next one.